I was way too embarrassed to ask about colostrum. My midwife asked me whether I would like to express colostrum. I immediately said no. I rejected the question. I was way too overwhelmed and self-conscious to even ask about colostrum. Through Haka, I've been under the guidance of multiple lactation consultants and midwives and now I know about how exceptional colostrum is. I don't want you to feel the way I felt. So today I'm going to tell you all about colostrum show you how to express it, the benefits of it, and everything else you need to know about it. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm from Harker and I'm a mom of two. If you need support on your breastfeeding or motherhood journey, make sure you subscribe and push the bell button to get notified. So if you're still watching, you're probably pregnant. Congratulations, that's so exciting. I hope you are doing well. All right, let's get into this. What is colostrum? Colostrum is the first milk that comes in and comes in about 12 to 18 weeks pregnant. Colostrum is known for being a thick consistency, but if yours is watery, don't worry about it too much because that's pretty normal. It's also known as liquid gold, so hence the very golden or yellow color of the colostrum. But every mom is just so different, so it can vary in all the shades of yellow. You may ask yourself, why would I express or harvest colostrum whilst I'm pregnant? So colostrum has a lot of different benefits. It provides antibodies and white blood cells to boost Bub's immune system. So say for example your little one is sick, you will be able to give them a little bit of colostrum to boost their immune system and that could help make them feel better. It also contains very high levels of proteins, salts, fats and vitamins and helps to prevent low blood sugar. Some moms may be recommended to harvest colostrum by their medical professional, so be it like a midwife, a lactation consultant or your doctor for various medical reasons or you just want to build up a stash. Now this part is very important because I'm going to tell you when to start and how often to express. So it is recommended not to start before 37 weeks pregnant. This is because hand expressing colostrum stimulates your nipple and that can cause contractions or early labor. So you harvest 10 to 15 minutes on each side once per day. Okay, once you're done, you swap over to the other one. Before you start expressing colostrum, always get clearance from your medical professional. So now the fun part starts, expressing colostrum. Very important is to start with as preparation. You want to wash your hands and you want to sterilize your device you want to collect your colostrum in. So traditional syringes have been used. These are single use only plastic syringes you usually would get at the hospital. Here at Haka, we're using our colostrum collector and these are especially made to express or harvest colostrum into. These are medical grade silicon and first of its kind. And I'm gonna show you how to use the colostrum collectors. So before you start, make sure you give your breast a nice massage. Just around the ducts where your milk ducts sit just over here. You can use also a hot flannel or have maybe a, a nice hot shower before you start expressing. Just get that all going. Create a C shape with the tip of your fingers and start just behind the areola. Press your fingers into the muscle. The next step will be pressing your fingers together and then you relax. You do that all the way around your areola and then you should see some droplets coming out. If you see the droplets coming out, you can then start collecting these droplets. You have two options. You can use the little nip, which is the little part on the top, just by gently pushing some air out, just like that. Hold it and then suction in your little droplet by releasing it. Or the other option would be just using the bigger opening of the colostrum collector. Mum say that's easier when you're first time expressing it just because it's a bigger opening. And what you then can do if your droplet is coming out, you use your colostrum collector and you basically just scrape it into. Scrape it in and then you put it aside and then you do this again. See, hold, push it back, squeeze in, hold, and get those droplets out. I always wondered, if I express before baby is born, will there be enough colostrum left once baby is born? The simple answer is yes, because what is happening? Once your baby is born, your placenta gets detached, and a few days after that, your colostrum will turn into transitional milk and then mature milk. Right, now that you have your precious liquid gold, it's time to store it. If you want to add another session to your colostrum collector, you can do so. Just put it in the fridge and take it out within 24 hours and express in the same colostrum collector. 
So say for example you harvest your colostrum at 10 p.m. at night and you want to add another session in the morning, you can do that and after that you just put it in the freezer. Now it comes to freezing. Each of our colostrum collector come with a label. You just fill it in. There's a date on it and that is the date of your first session. Just make sure that's correct. Then you peel the sticker off. You pop it around your colostrum collector and then it can go into the freezer. Also, did you know the funny part or actually really cool part about this is that colostrum and breast milk, they have the same milk storage guidelines. So just make sure you follow your local milk storage guidelines. Also, if you get a six pack of the colostrum collectors, they come in this really cool case. You pop them all together, put them in the freezer and keep them from touching anything. Now, when you're ready to go to hospital to have your baby, just make sure you take your frozen colostrum with you. Give it to your nurse or to your midwife at the hospital for them to store it until the baby is born. Since our colostrum collectors are made of 100% silicon, it's very easy to feed them from here just because the silicon tip is very soft and won't scratch anything in their mouth. So once you use up all your stash you have expressed and stored, what are you going to do with those colostrum collectors after? You don't have to throw them out. No, no, no. What you can do, you can actually reuse them. Say, for example, you put some tomato sauce in if you go for a picnic, or you can put some medication in when you're out and about, or once your baby's older, you can just put some food coloring in here, for example, and use it for arts and crafts or for them to play with. How cool is that, right? I would love to know what your experience with expressing or harvesting colostrum. Or if you have any questions, just pop it down below in the comments. You can find us on our social medias and don't forget to subscribe and push the bell button to get notified. Bye!